M0FXB, welcome to my channel. We have new firmware for the ICOM 905 version 1.11. Came out August 2023, and these are the features that it adds, very similar to the ICOM 705 that I have. Now, I do not have the ICOM 905, but many functions are very similar. So this new firmware added the DV repeater monitor function. If you've never seen that before, I do have a short video here on my 705 and if I push play there you'll see that when you press the multi button you get a new selection right called monitor. So it says monitor. So if it's you can see on, me there turning that on. On off. You can turn that on and off. You do have to import a file that I will provide a link for you with a repeater list. You import that and you do get a new selection within your menus so that you can uh, import that file with all the internet IP addresses for repeaters. So then when you turn on repeater monitor function here, the what will happen is you will then be able to scroll through your different repeaters. And if they are internet linked, it will actually show here, if you look at the top, Derby, GB7, DCB, see it says monitor there in white. It means that that one is internet linked. And you can actually listen to that or monitor that uh, at the same time as monitoring your hotspot. You won't hear both at the same time, but you effectively you've got two connections, one via internet and one via your hotspot or via RF, say a repeater. So it's a really cool feature to have. Scrolling up here, what else have they added? So it's monitoring a repeater, DV monitor function. Let's have a scroll down. RX history screen, GPS position, RX screen, QSO log voice recorder function there's the, there's the description of what we were just talking about the money function so have a good read learn about this you're going to need an sd card to add this you've got terminal ap core sign of course this this instruction manual will be in the link so will be the direct link for version 1.11 changes from 1.03 and here's a, this is the list of the changes. I uh, just saw them in the, in the PDF there, so I won't go over them again. I will copy and paste that list into the description. So check it out now regarding the software. Once you go to the firmware file, which is here, just scroll down, except there are a couple of instruction manuals you could download if you want like, the information and the, down, the manual download page. Just click those red ones and you'll get that. Then just click here and click download. The file that you're actually interested in is a bin file. So if we click here at this zip that's just come down, see the 905E11, that's the file you want, the 905E111 data file. Get that and drag it into your SD card. The quickest way is just to open up your, see the, the little yellow file there. When you've got an SD card plugged into there, it will appear in your USB drive. So hopefully, we can plug my USB drive in at least and um, go down to USB drive there. You'll find it when something's plugged in. It will, here is a USB F and it would, you know, if you've got something there, it will be there. Just grab the file like this and drag it into that file, okay? And that's it, it the, you know, it will be ready, but there is one prerequisite to that. And that is you would have had to at least once put the, SD card into your 905, 705 at least once, gone to the settings tab here, then SD card, uh, and, and see if we can play this through. Set. Then go down to SD card, tap the screen, and we want firmware update at the top. Now see in this screen, you want to have made at least a format and a backup at least once to have the files that you need to be able to transfer the file into that. And I'll just go back further here, see if I can see that. If you look here at me doing it, and then hopefully when I put that in my machine, I'll be able to just uh, select firmware and then. I'm trying to see myself okay, doing it in this video. Scroll down. So we're just going to go menu, set, then go down to SD card, tap the screen, and we want firmware update, the top one here. Just select that, oh it's quite bright isn't it? Now. Then just scroll down, yes, agree to everything above, click yes and it will say it saves all the settings on the 
on your radio for you automatically. Thank you very much. Very sensible. Then if you see the two firmwares, well the new one is the 130, so we're going to select that. Do you want to start updating? Yes. And I've got a feeling you have to hold down your finger on the S. Okay, checking the file is good. And that's it, you're good to go on that. Okay. So just remember when you drag that file into your SD card, you, you know, the key thing is that you have at least one time saved a backup and formatted the SD card within your ICOM 905 or oh, it's not going to work. We've got a couple of pictures here as well from Filippo is doing the firmware on his actual 905. There you go. It's, you know, these amazing, amazing devices. I'm very, you know, very pleased with my 705. Thanks for watching my channel. Hope this helps. All the links will be in the description. Bye for now, 73.